Right, yes, hello, and welcome back to Free Final Discovery. Today we're going through this album, and it's going to be brief. It's uh, Ultravox with their album Quartet. Why is it going to be brief? Well, because I've actually already recorded a review for this album before. I accidentally deleted the original um, film that I made, the, so I am very far removed from having listened to this album. And needless to say, I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> Ultravox, they uh, came out of the door with their uh, big hitter, Vienna, which was the most commercially successful song to be released in the UK that only reached number two in the charts. It was beaten out by Shut Up Your Face, which is a song that's worth checking out for its own reasons. <laughs> this album is not worth really checking out. In the physical form, it's kind of got a marking here, uh, a little bit of tearing that's happened in the album, and the design is a, it leads a lot to be desired. Um, as far as the songs, not a fan. Um, Reap the Wild Wind is okay. The chorus gets on my nerves, though. Um, then the next one is Serenade, which failed to serenade me. I was not impressed. Um, and the, nor was I with the rest of the A side. B side is where it comes into its own. The song that opens the B side is Visions in Blue. I've overplayed it a bit now, but I did really like it for a little while there. Thought it was really good. But actually, going back... I'm not so much of a fan now, but got to give it merit. It did get my attention on the first lesson. So if you're going to check out anything from this album, it's going to be that song. Because it's not going to be the rest of them on that side either. Uh, I think there was one song that I kind of liked on that, um, but not enough to actually remember it. This is another Chris Alice record, but it's not tempting me to go into the research that I did promise about Chris Alice records. I know it's a portmanteau of the two names of the founders, um, I can't remember what they are though. Uh, one of them was called Chris, and the other one, his surname was Ellis. Do your own research, really. This isn't, that's not what this channel's about. This isn't highbrow entertainment. This is me going through a pile of records I didn't choose and just giving vague opinions on it. And this one certainly is vague. Last week you had Billy Idol, which was a little bit more nuanced because I did listen to that album quite a bit. I've listened to this album twice and this is all you've got. <laughs> uh, maybe the first time I filmed this, it was a little bit more worth watching. There's a reason why we're in single and double digits on this channel. I know that. Uh, it's really, this is for me just to catalogue the experience. And I'm really pleased that a few of you are joining me along the way. And I'm really grateful for the attention that you're giving. <laughs> Don't give this your attention. You're worth more than that. <laughs> uh, this is Divisions of Blue. I think Ultravox are all right. Vienna is a cool song, but, you know, they're a child of their time and their time was just sort of 80 synthpop. And actually, I don't think that they're the best out there for it. Depeche Mode are doing stuff better and they evolved. They went on to greater things and Ultravox sort of fizzled out a little bit. Uh, Spandau Ballet, I'm not a fan of them, but at least they deviated away from it after their first album and they did more interesting things and more organic music as time went on. I can't say the same for Ultravox. Shout outs to a long time viewer of the channel, Murdoch of Murdoch's Music Minute, who also reviews this album on his channel. So if you want another opinion, a second opinion on this, go and check him out. I'll put the link in the description below, but you can find him at the bottom of all my comments. He's, he's the guy. He also gives more um, nuanced opinions on things than I do. I've always been famous for, or infamous probably for just saying, I like this or I don't like this. It is what it is at the end of the day. We're about two thirds of the way through the dive at this point. Things aren't going to change, but you know, stick around. There's going to be some weird and wacky albums to come. The ones that I've suppressed at the bottom of the pile for as long as I could. This was one of them, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Tried to tempt Tom to listen to it and he was like, eh, mm, no. So <laughs> here I am alone again, naturally. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next week.